क्वेश्चन नंबर 5.201 An electromagnetic wave of frequency omega propagates in dilute plasma. The free electron concentration in plasma is n naught. This is free electron concentration in plasma. Okay. Neglecting the interaction of wave and plasma ions first. Find the frequency dependence of plasma permittivity, and there is another part in this question that how plasma velocity of electromagnetic wave depends on its wavelength lambda in the plasma. So basically, an electromagnetic wave is moving into plasma. Okay, and this plasma having charge concentration and not right. Free electron concentration. So first of all, we have to find out how permittivity epsilon of this plasma is depending on the frequency, right? Which is omega. Already given that frequency of electromagnetic wave is omega. And secondly, we have to find out its phase velocity of wave in plasma as a function of lambda, right? So let's focus on first part. Uh, Initially, that if we have any electromagnetic wave, right, which is uh, with frequency omega, so we can write electric field vector as sine omega t or uh, E naught sine omega t, in fact, right, if E naught is maximum magnetic. Now, if there is any electron, free electron inside this field then it will experience a force that is F equals to Q into E. So we can write force experienced by an electron is equals to E, E naught sine omega t. Right. Now if we are, here we apply the principle of Newtonian physics that if this particle having mass m, then it will certainly experience certain acceleration. And that acceleration is equals to E E naught sine omega t. Now this acceleration can also be written as second differentiation. Here I am marking just two dot. Means second second differentiation as we know E equals to d two x over d t square. So from here we can calculate this vector displacement vector x. By integrating this expression twice, right? So I am just directly writing uh, the result that if we'll integrate twice this e e naught sine omega t, then we'll get minus e e naught over m into omega square into sine omega t. Right? This is our displacement vector. Okay. So when this ray moves inside the plasma. Then polarization would take place, and we can calculate polarization vector as n naught into e. N naught is concentration, e is charge of electron, and into displacement vector due to this electric field. So from here we'll get minus n naught e square into e naught divided by m omega square. Into sine omega t. This is our polarization vector, and we already know that the flux is equals to epsilon naught into vector e plus polarization vector. So from here we'll get d is equals to epsilon naught into e, and this e vector we can write the magnitude only that is e naught because they have same phase. So this is epsilon naught into e naught plus, or in fact minus here, n naught e square e naught upon omega square. Here we are not writing this step, that how it is changing with the frequency, right? So from there we'll get, or let me write this just to avoid confusion. Okay, so look, e naught into sine omega t can be taken out. From this bracket, and which is equals to our vector e. 
So D is equals to epsilon epsilon naught, okay, which is we are taking common plus one minus n naught square e square upon m epsilon naught omega e square, right, into vector e. Okay. Now this is equivalent to the relative permittivity into electric field, which is d bar, right. So from here we'll get relative permittivity, which is epsilon naught into epsilon, and that is equals to epsilon naught into one minus n naught square e square over m epsilon naught into omega square. So from here we'll get the relative or basically permittivity for this plasma, let me write here plasma, is equals to 1 minus n naught e square over m omega square into epsilon naught. Okay, so this is answer for part A. Right? That how we'll get the relative intensity for this plasma. Okay. Now next we have to calculate the wavelength. Okay. So first if we'll write the expression for phase velocity of a propagating wave. This is part B. This answer of part A. Okay. If we calculate phase velocity, so this is basically omega upon k. Right. And in plasma, if we know the permittivity of the medium, then we can directly write that this Vp is equals to speed of light in vacuum or speed of electromagnetic wave in vacuum divided by epsilon. Why we are writing this? Because we know very well that the phase velocity or speed of light can be written as under root mu naught into epsilon naught. So if there is any medium, then we can replace this epsilon naught as epsilon into epsilon r. That's why we are getting this. Okay. So from here we can write, if we equate these two equations, then ck is equals to omega under root epsilon. Right. Now we already know this value. Epsilon is 1 minus n naught e square upon m omega square epsilon. Then just for the sake of simplicity, I am writing epsilon is equals to 1 minus omega p upon omega p square upon omega e square. Right. So it means omega p square me is from this expression we can write omega p square is n square n naught e square upon m into epsilon. Okay, this is our assumption. So we can write that C k is equals to omega under root 1 minus omega p square upon omega square. So now we can make a square this uh, both the side for this expression and we get here we can write that C square k square plus omega p square is equals to omega square, right? So from here, we can calculate omega and we'll get velocity v is equals to c under root 1 plus omega p square upon c square into k square, right? Uh, just solving this quadratic equation and we can get v which is c under root 1 plus omega p square upon c square plus k square. Now we already have this omega p square and not epsilon square upon m epsilon not square. So from here we can write the phase velocity which is equals to c times under root 1 plus we can put omega p as n not e square upon 4 pi square m square into epsilon naught. Okay. And k can be replaced by lambda. Okay. That's why we are getting 
4 pi square upon lambda because we can put k equals to 2 pi over lambda from there. Right. So, this is our expression for phase velocity in terms of wavelength.